This is about 8 month old boy baby who has been treated with antibiotics for the past 2 days due to fever and vomiting. Ultrasound abdomen was done due to incessant crying of the baby for the past last night. You see the images and give your diagnosis. This first image is through the right medial lumbar region in longitudinal axis. This second image the same right medial lumbar region in short axis. This third image is in long axis in the right iliac fossa. You please see the images again and give your diagnosis. If you want more time, please pass the images and then go on. Now we'll go for discussion. There is a long, non-compressible, non-peristaltic, tender tubular lesion of 7 mm in thickness, which is seen in right medial lumbar region with significant hyperechoic thickening around it. Few dilated bowel loops are observed near this lesion with significant mesenteric lymphadenitis. No major fluid collection is detected. Rest of the abdomen, liver, spleen and kidneys appeared unremarkable. The differential diagnosis for this findings could be acute appendicitis, second Meckel's diverticulitis, third is acute mesenteric lymphadenitis, fourth is acute enterocolitis. So this is an infant, so almost eight month old infant. So the differential diagnosis was either appendicitis or Meckel's diverticulitis or mesenteric lymphadenitis or enterocolitis by the ultrasound findings. Laparotomy was performed. Perforated appendicitis was seen which has been partially sealed off by the adjacent momentum and bowel loops. All of them being inflamed with mesenteric lymphadenitis and there is mild degree of fluid collection. So the final diagnosis is acute appendicitis which has been perforated and partially sealed off by the inflamed mesentery and bowel loops. We'll go for the discussion. Acute appendicitis is the most common surgical problem in all age groups except infancy, which is very, very rare in this age. But the sonographic criteria of acute appendicitis remains the same, it means almost more than six millimeter in thickness is the finding which could be in infants or adolescents and, and in adults. The complication of appendicitis, especially perforation and peritonitis is more common in infants than in higher age group due to poorly formed momentum and mesentery at this age group. Possibility of inflamed appendix should be in the differential diagnosis of any acute abdomen in infants to allow the early diagnosis of this potentially lethal condition. Thank you very much. Take care. Please share and give your comments.